Welcome back to BPM tonight. We go to what is probably one of the hardest hardcore clubs left in the UK, Club Kinetic, Stoke on Trent. Stoke on Trent, that's where we are. And on tonight's lineup, we've got Jumpin' Jack Frost, Dave Angel, and DJ S. Yep, and stick around because later in the show we'll have a US special. We'll be talking to DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, Ultra Nate and Tony Tony Tone, and we'll be asking that $64,000 question. Did you make your names up or what? Well, I certainly didn't make mine up, but then that's obvious, isn't it? But I just think we should just hightail it into that little club there and just see what's happening. That is. One, two, three, let's go! Pick it up now, come on! Kinetic has become a place of worship for dedicated hardcore fans. It's located at the Leisure Bowl, Stoke-on-Trent, and each week turns away some 400 unlucky punters once the capacity of 1,600 has been reached. The reason for its popularity is a diet of upfront techno, courtesy of some of the finest practitioners in the business. The club itself boasts a chill-out area, huge dance floor and even some snooker tables, plus a futuristic design including backdrops by Banorama. The sound system is immense, but then what else would you expect? The big question this week, do Americans make up their names? We think yes. This week's video comes from the Foo Schnickin, new hot rat boys, and the rising star of American basketball, this year's rookie player, Shaquille O'Neal. He made that up. The single title, we didn't. It's called What's Up Doc? It's Club Kinetic. It's Andy Hurricane Johnson. We're here live from the snooker tables Stoke on Trent. Is this your only club, honey? And if it is, why is it your only club? It's the only club at the moment because we're doing that well. The customers are loving the club. And I think with the right kind of security that we've got, the right kind of management and the staff that we have here, I think we're doing very well. Well, I think they're doing very well too. Now, is this hardcore kind of thing, is this your main bag, boy, or have you got something else up your sleeve that maybe I haven't tasted quite yet? Well, we try from from the start of the club. We've had hardcore garage. We've got two rooms. Um, we've had three residents since the start of the club. Um, main DJ's in the main room. We've got DJ Brisk. He comes up from Southampton every single week. Very good DJ. We've got um, three three DJs down in the back room. We've got Ryan, very good DJ. We've got Dava Player House and Garage, and um, one of your partners who's in Tenerife at the moment. He plays down there as well. He's an excellent DJ, and um, we've guests now and again every week. Like they're just all DJ'd out here, but I want to know about the snooker table we're sitting on, honey. Is this like just all for show, or could you really give me a game? I can give you a game if you want, Link. Yeah. But I wouldn't do it here, though. You wouldn't do it here? No, not at all. No. Well, where would you do it? Where'd you fancy? Well, I think you just have to leave us to decide on that. Bye bye. Well, it's not the quietest place to do a link from Club Kinetic, but we'll try. Washington move over, Detroit move over, Chicago move over, 
New York, move over. Baltimore is the place to be this year. The home of top production team, the Basement Boys, the people responsible for Gypsy Woman, now bring you Ultra Nate and Joy. We've got up for an exclusive and talk to Ultra Nate about her work and her future. MCs. Much discussion in the media recently about whether they're good or bad, but there's no denying that tonight at the club, the MCs are very much part of the action, and I'm with one of the kind of rising stars of the whole scene, MC Magica. And I mean, what do you feel about the kind of argument that, you know, well, the MC of, should get out of the face? At the end of the day, right, um, an MC's there for one specific reason. He's there to hype the crowd, not himself. Hype the crowd, entertain the crowd as much as he can possibly. You know what I mean? And like, when a DJ's mixing the MC, you know, not there to irritate or destroy the music. And like the DJ, he deserves more respect, so therefore the MC just compliments it. As I said, like just hype the crowd, you know what I mean? People like do knock us a lot, but like if you've got if you're right and you, and you can do it proper, well then like, you know what I mean, no one's gonna knock you. Well I see, I mean plenty of people out there seem to be well, like at the end of the day the crowd need them. The crowd like them, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day that's it. So all them people who complain, get to hell. How did you get into it? I mean, do you come from a rap background originally? Now, I started um, in 91, um, the, um, two members of the UB40 group, they just come back from the world tour, and um, they did a bit of a rave, like just, you know, something on the side and that, and it was called Earthquake at Mosey Dance Centre. Started doing it there, um, wasn't earning any money or anything then, um, just did it every Friday as a resident, and I just started, I broke out, you know what I mean, all over the country and that. And now it's gone on to a stage where you're working with Carl Cox? Yeah, um, I MC for the Carl Cox concept and that, uh, I was in Ireland with Carl, Carl and Rachel have been watching me for you know some time, and you know they watched me and how you know how I work with the crowd and that, and I liked it, so they decided to get me and join up with them and you know I'm with the PA now. What can I say? And your final comments on Club Kinetic? Nicking number one, mate. <laughs> I mean, oh, he swore, misses. <laughs> rush, rush. Come on. Wanna see you stop in?
Having abandoned computer technology, they've used their instruments to raise their profile higher and higher in the UK, and in particular with their latest single, If I Had No Loot. Everybody reach up and make some noise. Come on, where's the hands out there? Come on, let's go. You got to get up and move. You got to get up and go. Jump, jump. A little higher. Jump, jump. say Club Kinetic's absolutely bonkers. It's time for another nepotistic plug disguised as an interview, yes? I've never met you before, have I, Dave? We're old mates, old mates. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Angel is about to go on and we've caught him uh, kind of backstage here at Kinetic. Dave, it's a surprise to see you really on what is kind of fundamentally a hardcore club and you've moved overwhelmingly into the techno side. Yeah, well, I think things are changing, Dave, musically, as you can hear, like they're playing loads of techno here now, instead of like the, the typical hardcore stuff that we're hearing now. But, uh, you know, it's good to see that they're opening up to it. I hope they do open up to it, really, because I've, I've just started a label. You know? I know. Tell, tell me more about that. Front. Well, um, the first release is coming from me. It's going to be um, concentrating a lot more on, on the, the musical side of, of techno, not, not so much like the, the club stuff. I mean, not so much listening music, but dance as well. It's, it's kind of hard to explain, Dave, really. It's, it's musical techno, not just a distorted kick running through a, a mixer, you know? I mean, to me, kind of like the whole scene on this side has actually gone so far underground that it's becoming, I don't know, worthy of discussing again. I mean, a lot of the DJs now are playing techno. I mean, Groove Riders kind of been like mixing pure ragga kind of break with techno -y tunes. And like the whole trendy scene really wants to get into the techno side as well. I think there's any chance of the two meeting again? Well, um, I think quite a few people are kind of mincing their words. They, they don't really know what's going on. Like the Progressive Boys as an example, you know. I mean, they're buying a lot of techno and slowing it down, you know, and, and they're seeing it like a new thing, you know. When there was boys like me, I've been playing it, you know, since it started, you know. Really, in essence, it's Euro, really, you know. High energy music, you know good club feel you know I think everybody will get into it really because it's it's a, a good club dance you know. international sound yeah yeah definitely and the label rotation first record out on it almost jazz yeah almost jazz well it's got a bit of everything really it's got a bit of the the hard trance elements it's got like the, the jazzy elements it's got it's got everything in it really you know check it out it's called Royal Techno anyway <laughs> what can I say listen to the man's music and uh, Talk to the angels. Let's go! Let's go! We have a big ass, the day don't understand. We want to jump up out and make it a hard pass We want to jump up out and make it a hard
in the hot, sweaty hallways of Club Kinetic. We're here, Groove Rider and Brenda, for Groove Rider and Brenda, come again. Groove Rider. <laughs> How are you? Not too bad, hot and sweaty, as you say. Yeah, a bit hot and sweaty. But did you enjoy Club Kinetic? Yeah, it was all right. Even though the set's got a bit split up, but it was all right. Yeah? Yeah, it's good in there. Good night. Is this like uh, your final gig of the night, or...? No, first. It's kind of late now. Where are you heading now? Uh, Milwaukee's in uh, Bedford, then off to somewhere in London. Uh, is this happen like all weekend, every weekend? Most of the weekends, yeah. yeah. Yeah? But you love it, right? Can't complain. So are you a hardcore babe? Extremely. Yeah? Extremely. Where's it all going? I don't know. It goes with where you want to take it, really. Really? Okay. Well, that's fun. Uh, what about this little special jacket you're wearing? Have you noticed the old uh, Groove Rider logo? I bet you can just buy them down on your high street. Is that right? <laughs> no, Where did you get this jacket? No, it's a present. It was a present. Somebody yeah. made it for me, so it's a present. Yeah. Like somebody like who? Lucky Spin Records, a record shop. Okay. Do a bit so, of promotion for them and stuff. Yeah. And what else? What else have you got up your sleeve in the next coming months? Uh, a couple of tunes, more gigs, and then more gigs. Well, groove, baby. What can I say? But groove on, you little rider, yeah. <laughs> You got to feel your rush, you got to feel your rush, that's what it's all about. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. That's what it's all about, the rush, 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 rush. The hardcore! The hardcore! One, two, two, two! Russ Fengo and Anthony Man like MC coming into place! Stoke on Drake Crew! You're looking lively! certainly been a harder than hardcore night here at Club Kinetic in Stoke-on-Trent. We'd like to thank everybody for what has been a uh, banging, and I think that's the euphemism, a banging evening. Banging, banging, hardcore, hardcore. I mean, that just reminds me of my old friend, Jeff Stryker, Jeff Stryker. the banging hardcore man. <laughs> Remember him? Well, I don't do hardcore. Oh, no, I don't either. I'm just jesting. But apart from Jeff Stryker, who couldn't be with us this evening, unfortunately, <laughs> I'd like to thank all the boys who uh, gave us such a rush of kinetic energy here that oh, I just don't know if I'm coming or going. <laughs> Surely you do. Oh, baby. <laughs> We're going to build it up higher and higher, faster and faster. 